I'm Cuban and Venezuelan, so I'm 100% communist. Trump don't help us. This guy's bringing back old school shit that we know about. They don't know shit. Yeah, I know. They don't know shit about the party that we're doing. Like white girls, you would you would be at the party like, oh my god, this is awesome. Like, where did you go, Put it on nightclub, it's free. Right? And I'm like, holy shit, this party's lit. <laughs> Dude, I love, like, I'm Cuban, I'm Venezuelan, you know, and, like, my parents are both attorneys, you know, but, like, the fucking craziest part was when my dad would, like, you know, talk to the cops and, like, the news about his court case, he would sound like a baseball player or, like, one of the coaches, like, I, this was a good game, they had some kilos, we cannot come in, and uh, they are up, good time, thank you, my parents. Go on. You know, that would be the dumbest shit. You'd be like, damn, damn dad, how'd you pull it off? He's like, it was cool. <laughs> Gotta go for that. Hey, dude, I loved it, man. Fucking, I was like, I always try to be a comedian. You know, I always thought it was fun because my dad would sing Guantanamera. You know, yeah, they know. Guantanamera. How are you? Come on, come on. It's like, great American song. Why people should know it like Feliz Navidad. <laughs> you know, for years, we're like, Feliz Navidad, we love you. Yes. The only one us in at certain times, that Cinco de Mayo, all of you are fucking Latino. <laughs> Next day, you're out of the country. <laughs> Fuck you. We don't like you anyway, so it's Taco Bell. <laughs> you know the good place you have on Fridays? But dude, man, like fucking, you know, my dad was this crazy ass attorney. And when I was a kid, like I used to have to hustle him for money. Because, you know, blacks and Hispanics, we always trying to hustle, trying to come up. For those that don't know what it is, it's make some money off of some shit you shouldn't have. <laughs> but we're always trying to come up. So when my dad, you know, he was a dickhead. But when I wanted to raise on my allowance, I used to be like, hey dad, let's play this little game. They called it hide the insulin. <laughs> Fuck him up for like three hours. The motherfucker's like, where are you? <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm like, I'm gonna die if I don't have that PS4, bitch. <laughs> How bad do you want it? <laughs> and I got that, bitch. And then, like, you know, you bring it to your father, who's an attorney. You're like, Dad, I want to do comedy. And fuck that, you can sing like me! Because my dad would always sing at these Latin parties, he'd the shit. But then he's like, why don't you start a boy band? And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna start that fucking boy band with all your legal clients. I'm gonna call it Juan Direction. <laughs> <laughs> Our first song is gonna be Across the Border. <laughs> Juan Direction, Across the Border. <laughs> Like, dude, and then I got older, and he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, why don't you become a stripper? And I was like, fuck yeah, it's just gonna work out. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck it, I found it, they made a movie. I'm gonna be Magic Miguel. Because <laughs> I also come in Spanish. Oh, <laughs> my Lord, how do you like that? <laughs> like, dude, and then, like, it was crazy, because, like, being a comedian, you don't know what job you're gonna have, sometimes you're waiting tables or whatever, but, like, man, I work with my Latin people. And then there would be sad times when you were in those jobs. I used to work for LA Fitness. Mexicans would come up to me and I'd be like, hey, you want a membership? Yeah, I want a membership. <laughs> and I'd be like, that's cool. Here's a ticket. And they'd be like, oh, you work for La Fitness? <laughs> it's so dumb. Uneducated ass. It's not La Fitness. It's LA. When you first cross the border? <laughs> Okay, I know where he's at. I know where he's at. I mean, like, dude, I, I would love that shit, man. And then, like, fucking, I always think, like, because, you know, like, deportes, sports, right? If you ever watch soccer, I think about sex, right? Who's a better lover than Latinos? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> you just gotta consider, like, like, and I can, I can put it into play for you. Like, let's, like, compare two people. The white Americans who commentate on soccer, actually they're the Brits or the Latinos. Who would make a sex match sound better? <laughs> yeah, you know, we got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's it, Papa. That's it. So you'd be like, you know, 
Stephen, who's in walking a bedroom, it's a formidable match. He's a gentleman. He likes to pull off a panties slowly, <laughs> caressing, loving. He gets annoyed that it's a yellow card, but he's still in the game. <laughs> he's still in the game. It's a fighting fucking match. He gets down on the panties, lowers them down. He asks first. And then he gets in there. That's a fantastic goal. <laughs> That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. You get a Latino in there, it's like, Jose Maria, I walk in the bedroom. This is a match for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. This man pulls his dick on the pants. She looks, she says, God damn it. Oh, Maria, he's going in. He slams her to the floor. She says, yes, daddy, mas duro. Do <laughs> you like you and me? Yes, daddy, harder. <laughs> and he goes inside in the pussy, the Gucci, golazo. It's a great match! Thank you ladies and gentlemen, my name is Will.